Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Hope you guys like it. Uh, we're going to make a spoon here today. Got this new wood carving kit. I uh, just did a video of the unboxing and my first thoughts on it. So let's get into it and actually see how the knives and uh, gouges and whatnot work. I got a good, weird, strange piece of wood. Got a crazy knot right here. Not sure what kind of wood it is. It's an old piece of scrap uh, firewood. And it's got enough character to it that caught my eye. And I'm going to split it. See what uh, chunks we can get broken up out of here. And uh, get a spoon out of it, hopefully. So stay tuned. We'll get that going. We're back. We got it broken up. This piece, I'm thinking, is the one I'm going to use. It's got a good belly, whatever you want to call it, bowl shape already kind of in it. It's thin right there, but I should be able to make something work out of that. There's not any big giant cracks or anything crazy going through there. So I'm going to try to shape it up more and see what the, it's going to turn into and stuff. This is my first piece I snapped off. Interesting with the whole... The whole hole there with the, the knot. Make a cool fork or something, a little two prong fork maybe. <laughs> and this uh, is just a big chunk here that's still got plenty of character and all that stuff with that knot there. Possibly something that can happen down the road with that. But for now, we'll go back in the wood pile. And we'll get to shaping and making that into more of a spoon looking shape. Alright, so we got uh, the shape somewhat getting there now i just uh put some stop cuts basically with the pole saw uh, close to the spoon bowl side and then i just hit it with the hatchet down the middle here shrink and split it off with a dead blow mallet you can use a chisel probably be just as fine the big old chisel would uh, also get you there just whatever can separate that stuff and we've got the stop cut there we get you the shape a little bit quicker than Sitting there and shaving it off and stuff. If you got planes and power tools and whatnot, you know, you got a freaking bandsaw, it will be no problem. But I try to do all this stuff without using any power tools, just manual labor and a little bit of sweat off the brow. So this is where we're at so far. We'll keep <clears throat> chipping away at it and try to get uh, to the shape we want it to be. Oh, I didn't get the light on, darn it. Over here, over here. There we go. A little uh, showing what's going on here, a little live action uh, whittling. My dog shaking off. Just so you guys can see how this uh, new uh, beaver craft knife here is working. And I don't know if it's the handle, but my grip, instead of being like this, I want my thumb for some reason to be over here, which I don't know if that's normal or not. I kind of want to sand this area right here this shoulder a little uh a little sharp for uh, your thumb when i'm sitting like this but so far the knife and the handle are still together so that's a good sign and it's shaving off pieces of wood i haven't cut myself knock on wood but uh yeah she seems to be good Definitely finding little corks with the knife and whatnot, like the thumb thing, the spine being pretty thin. <clears throat> or, yeah, thin. Not wide. But, doing some good pull cuts. Switch it around. Try and get a proper grip on it. But yeah, just a little showing on how that's working and whatnot. And uh, yeah, just gathering more information and more knowledge on how this knife is. And yeah, I hope it'll give a better review once I'm done with this spoon. I'm almost sure because then I'll use the other, uh, the gouge and the hook knife too. But yeah, stay tuned. All right, I just wanted to bring you in real quick. Um, I ran into a little issue. 
crack right here. I think it goes downward at an angle and probably comes out right in the middle over here, maybe. But because of that, I wanted to get through a lot of this material quicker, so I just grabbed the old hatchet and uh, started just working a little bit off at a time and uh, trying to get it to the shape and get all that material and wood off of that area so I could see how far that crack goes and if I can even work around it or just cut it out if it uh, doesn't go too deep. So that's kind of where I'm at now is just seeing what's happening with this crack and hopefully it's not too bad and it's something that we can salvage this piece here because it's starting to really turn out. Obviously it's really rough still but I can see the potential in this piece here so hopefully we can get it to work. But yeah, just want to fill you in on that. It's time to bust out the gouge. I just did a little couple pushes on it to see how it's going to work. And it feels good. Definitely moving a lot of material uh, quickly. Especially compared to the usual gouge I was using prior to this one. Which is so tiny. But, uh, so tiny, so small. But this one, uh, this one's doing good. Good, uh, good bits of wood coming off here. So we'll just keep on keeping on until we get more of a spoon shape. All right, all right. Gouge is working great. No problems. Didn't bend or doesn't feel like it's getting loose or flexing in my hand. Working good, working great. Do the hook knife now, just to get that in here. There is a crack on this uh, part here, so I'm trying to go at different angles, not to uh, pull up on that. And make it crack anymore. I'm just gonna whittle through it, cut down through that crack, and hopefully it'll just, uh, it'll fix itself. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully. Horrible angles with this camera trying to make this work. But you guys get the picture. Yeah, I mean, it works good. Uh, the angle and everything, blade's sharp. Everything's nice and tight. Yeah, so far, Beaver Craft Wood Carving Kit, it's working good. Whew. Yeah, all right, getting cold out here in the garage. Been out here for a while now, trying to get this uh, all wrapped up, so it's not going to be the most perfectest, prettiest, evenest thing I've ever created here, but just trying to get uh, a lot of time in, or quick, quickly get a lot of time in with these knives and uh, tools to see how they work. For, uh, beaver craft stuff but I'm at the sanding stage right now and it's always a pain in the butt to get the uh, bowl sanded out or the spoon in your side there so I like to get a little piece of sandpaper whatever grit you prefer to use uh, depending on the situation and just big enough where it fits inside the bowl basically and then you just go back and forth follow the grain structure you don't want with uh, something like this uh, heavier grit sand you don't want to go against the grain and put a bunch of scratches on there. The less work you have to do in the long run, the better. So, just a little, uh, little tip there, at least something I like to do um, to make it easier. If you guys got any tips on sanding out that area of uh, your spoons and stuff, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, would love to know what other people go about to get that smooth. Um, I'm sure you can use Dremels and stuff. I've used those before in the past and it works all right, but getting that in there, uh, the bowl and stuff without it gouging and doing weird things. I just found a little piece of sandpaper and patience gets you there. So hopefully uh, next time this pops up on the screen, we'll be putting some oil, which I have to find. It's probably inside. Oh, no, it's over there. All right, cool. Oil's close by. We made it to the end. We have a spoon. We got our three knives. Look at all of our digits. So, mission accomplished. Spoon turned out good. 
grain structures, very unique. Get a little oil here and there. I put some oil on it and let it dry already and uh, soak it up. Turned out really nice. Kind of a wonky spoon, but we're here for these. How did my uh, experience go with them? Not bad. Not bad at all. The I'll start here with the problems, I guess. This knife, uh, it could be thicker, the handle. It has no thickness this way. And the blade itself, the back and the spine, a little thin. Uh, could be rounded, maybe. Maybe that could help it out, maybe. It feels like it's pretty smooth, like rounded edges. But uh, the thinness of it, when you push on it, that uh, doesn't feel the best when you're not wearing a glove. The hook knife, though, the spine on here is awesome. Love it. Favorite hook knife I have so far. Uh, the thickness has no really uh, good or bad. So the shape, handle shape for this is perfectly fine. No complaints. The gouge, same thing. Handle shape, perfectly fine. No complaints. Uh, this overall build quality is good. Uh, nothing came loose or started feeling like it was uh, rocking and rolling in my hand, so to speak. Uh, all the blades... Try to focus on that piece of wood chip still on there but all the blades are perfect still no rolled edges no chipping So that's nice. I, I really approve of it. Uh, two thumbs up. Worth the money. Uh, I, I have no problems that would say, oh man, I'm never going to buy this thing. Like this, well worth it. I would I would purchase it again or purchase other things from Beavercraft, I should say, because I obviously have these. I don't need another set of them, but more Beavercraft stuff, I probably wouldn't mind. Their stuff's nice. I'll have to do a comparison of uh, Beavercraft versus some other stuff, but... Yeah, they give my approval. I would say if you, you're looking to buy it and you're not sure, go for it. Definitely buy it. Uh, after making the spoon here with them, yeah, they work great. Well worth the money. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you liked the video. Check out my channel for more and stay tuned for more videos, hopefully in the future.